Um, across the road, uh, you can see there are three fences. The first one is a, a regular metal fence. The second one is a, an electronic fence. And the third one is Dual, uh, which also has uh, sensors that uh, can tell if anyone goes by it. You can see between the, the electric fence and the wall, there's a road for patrolling the, the area. And over there, all the buildings, is uh, Tulkarem, a big city. Uh, it belongs to the Palestinian authorities. Um, hi, I'm Ben. Um, right now we're in our school, which is called Amot Trefer. Um, it's located in a kibbutz, in the middle part of Israel. Uh, Tel Aviv is south from here, so is Jerusalem. Um, we're pretty close to a lot of Arab towns, uh, which I think is the main reason uh, there are a lot of um, coexisting uh, projects here with Arabs and a lot of people. Um, like our project. وإيش؟ الجمال في الوقت الذي تتمتع هي في الجمال وغير وغيرها يا سماع إيش؟ أنا اسمي سماح نطور عمري 14 سنة وأنا عايش بكلنسوة وهي كلنسوة قرية صغيرة اللي هي موجودة في إسرائيل وهنا إحنا يعني عملنا بروياك اللي اسمه بيس كامب أولاد السلام طبعا لما رحت على النمسا صار حدث تغيير في حياتي صار عندي مسؤولية لأنه إحنا تشاركنا مع بعض اسمعنا رايات الآخرين We live in a, in a state that is const, has constant war fighting and I feel good that I I think somewhere I contributed to um, getting closer to the other side, to so-called, so-called enemy, and and we contribute to peace. Also ich muss sagen, ich habe mich ja freiwillig dafür gemeldet. Also mich persönlich interessiert es eigentlich sehr. Einerseits eben wegen dieser Friedenssache, aber andererseits auch, weil ich denke, eben durch diese ganzen Identitäten, Workshops und so, lerne ich mich selbst auch irgendwie besser kennen. Weil ich finde, ich glaube halt, man findet sehr viel über sich selbst heraus in so, bei so einer Sache, bei so einem Projekt. Und das war für mich halt auch der Grund, dass ich da mitmache. Please don't talk right now. Basketball. 
I don't think that we want to teach them anything. I also think that we should not try and teach them anything because the adults of today have failed in their attempts to solve the very difficult problems of nowadays uh, politics. I wanted to give them a free, uh, beautiful, relaxed occasion to clear their mind. And I believe that if you give a person a chance to think freely, they may be very creative and come up with something new. Thinking about your identity and um, also getting to know somebody else's identity or identities um, makes you, as I said, more sensitive and open-minded. So this can help really, because identities separate and, and they cause wars and hatred and racism. It's very difficult for him to do it with a boy. Okay, okay that, very, that's, that's not way. No, so no. Uh, I would like if there are uh, two girls together uh, to split. And Ashtai? Like, no, no, you don't. <laughs> 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 We are making now masks, uh, individual masks, because um, this is w this will be part of the show when um, the children really will use the masks to hide uh, their identity, and we'll go uh, step by step to reveal to reveal to go from one identity, the human identity to the individual identity and then to the group identity. And the masks is one, one of the things that we uh, should use. Also, while we're doing it, it's a very important thing for me that they will um, um, do it to each other because it is not very easy uh, thing to do it with each other. For example, um, in, in the Arab culture, it is not so easy for a boy to touch a girl or for a girl to touch a boy. Also, I found out that some, some have dif uh, personal uh, difficulties, for example, boy to touch a boy. Nili, <laughs> There was a moment that I forced you a little bit. I wasn't very nice, maybe, to do things against your will. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, activity. Uh, you can hide yourself, so you can do whatever you want. It's a feeling you don't have to to stand in, in the public. You you are only you, and it's, it's like silence in your body, in your soul, yeah. <laughs> and you, man. I feel uncomfortable to, to touch a man. Touch a man? Uncomfortable. Maybe I'm afraid to touch a boy, like... Maybe you, you might like, like it. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Let's be serious for a second. Yeah, like yeah I, I'm afraid to touch, to touch someone. It's like... I feel uncomfortable with myself. Do, Do was uh, very open with us, sharing, yeah. sharing um, his feelings. Yeah. And I don't think it's uh, really subject for a uh, It's a new experience. Uh, in our cultures, we don't uh, do these things.
the Arabs that live in Israel, they caught up in the situation because they don't know where, where are they. They don't know of whom they belong, to the Palestinians or to Israel. And I think that this is, I don't know what I would, I would have done if I was in their situation that they are recognized and, as an Israeli citizens, but they don't get the whole things that we get. בימי יום יום אני שחיינית, אני מתאמנת עם מקבוצה יהודייה ואני עושה אימוני בוקר ואימוני ערב, אני לומדת בבית ספר בקלנסווה עם ערבים ואני מתאמנת עם יהודים. זה לא מסובך מה שאני עושה פה וזה לא כזה מסובך כי בארץ אני יכולה לרקוד וגם פה אני יכולה לרקוד אבל יש פה משהו שאצלנו מסורת שאומרת שאסור לרקוד במול בנים וההורים שלי הם לא, ההורים שלי שומרים והם רוצים שאני כאילו אהיה מנומסת ואני אלך על המסורת ושאני אנסה כמה שאני, כמה שאני יכולה פשוט לשמור על, על הדברים שאני פשוט חושבת שהם טובים ולעשות כל מה שטוב בשבילי ובשביל מה אני חושבת ואם הם היו אומרים שזה אסור וזה דבר דתי לא הייתי מגיעה לפה In Israel, there, there's not really a place that uh, Arabs and, is, and uh, Jewish uh, people can meet because it's like... Uh, here it's like a neutral place. Like, uh, without, uh, like starting from again, like a new start. Ich glaube, die großen Tabus sind auf alle Fälle die beiden historischen Epochen. Einerseits der Holocaust und andererseits das, was die Araber Nakba nennen, also die Katastrophe der, des Einbruchs der Juden oder der Zionisten ins Land Palästina, was für, für, für die arabische Bevölkerung ein Trauma war und ihnen ein Gefühl der Heimatlosigkeit gegeben hat. Die Israelis auf der anderen Seite haben aufgrund der Vergangenheit, der jüdischen Vergangenheit, insbesondere natürlich dieses Teils der Geschichte des Holocaust, tragen die in sich das Gefühl des Verletzt- und Ausgeliefertseins und geben eigentlich jedes Jahr am Gedenktag des Holocaust ein Statement ab, das sagt nie wieder, es wird uns nie wieder passieren, Opfer zu sein. Hi, Mama, my dad. How is school? Okay. Yeah, good. You, uh, ah, are you hungry? No. Well, I have something to tell you. Uh, my friend Muhammad invited me to his house. Uh, really, I want to go. Can I? Listen, uh, uh, listen, Sam. We think, uh, we think it is, uh, it is... Where is the house? Oh, it's there. Um, it is the school. Side of the, wall. the kids and, the t and their teachers wrote this uh, play t together because they wanted to show the difference in the experience between the Jewish and the Arab um, citizen in Israel. That, the, that there are discrimination towards the Arab citizens and that there are certain check, checking of their identities that the, that the Jewish, Jewish residents or citizens don't have to go through. Their play is about two boys who want to go to visit each other's house, an Arab boy and a Jewish boy who both uh, study in the same school, um, but the parents are resistant. The Jewish parents think there's going to be a, uh, that it's dangerous for their son to go to an Arab village, whereas the Arab kids 
their parents say, fine, it's okay, we met, we met Moshe, it's okay, go to his house, we have no problem. Of course, we like your friend. There is nothing to worry about, you can go some. <laughs> In 1947, Israel wa uh, began, and that was the first war when, when the, the United Nations declared about Israel. Uh, a war began the next day between the Arabs and the Jews because everybody wanted the country. And that is called uh, in the Independence Day by the Jews and the Nakba for the Arabs. אנשים שהיו ב... כאילו בפלסטין, היהודים, הם גירשו את הערבים שהיו ב... כן, והם הלכו לכל מיני מקומות. If we had acknowledged the, the pain and the tragedy of, that occurred, uh, I believe it would be easier to let it go and move forward. But because the Palestinians living in Israel and, every, and everywhere else, but particularly the citizens, like the kids from Kalansawa, they are people who did not leave, but they had land taken away, and they have family who left, and they have re relatives who, who, who may had, were displaced or may be re what we call refugees inside the country. And they're feeling a great amount of, of, of unacknowledged pain for the past. So you know how much, uh, how much uh, Israeli soldiers uh, died? <coughs> you, know, you don't know how much Palestinians uh, yeah. have died. Like in the Intifada now? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The government hides, like, they bomb a lot of times and loads of innocent people die. And they, then the government just shows um, the terrorists that blow up in Israel. They what don't show the anything we do. Wow. You don't know because the government hides it. They, they just don't. They don't just uh, go and kill Palestinians. If any, uh, they invade house victims. House get hurt. It's because something went wrong. It's not done on purpose. And yeah, but innocent people don't. It's not, it's not done on purpose. It's done. Wait, wait, wait. Unprofessionally, unprofessionally and. It's usually a uh, oh, wanted to use the last two years. Does that, that justify the blue map? No, it doesn't, yeah. but it's, it's not been done on purpose. Yeah, and those are excellent. So if that is exposed, no, it's never in newspapers or uh, on. Um, that's, uh, that's not. Uh, that, no, that, it's not. It's not okay, it is. That's the same. Uh, never on main news, news on, the, on the television. <laughs> ותתרגמו את העניין, התלמידים שלי מרגישים שכל הזמן זורקים את האשמה עליהם. אני אתן לך בצהריים, ארוחת צהריים יש את הצלחת, לא הם שמו, אני השבעתי אותם בקוראן, הם נשמעו שלא הם שמו את הצלחת. אני לא יודע מי היא, מי שם את זה. בסדר, אני הלכתי וביררתי. אז תמיד הם מרגישים שכל הזמן הם לא בסדר, שמישהו מסתכל עליהם והם מרגישים את זה, ואת יודעת, כש... מיעוט מרגיש את זה, זה בדיוק אנחנו באים בגלל זה. We don't accuse anybody specially or blame anybody because we do it to all the rest. The thing is the feeling that you have whether somebody, and he said that it's a minority syndrome. But I say, excuse me. הם לא נגדך, אבלין, הם לא נגדך, הם לא נגדך. הם, הם ככה מרגישים, ואת okay. צריכה, צריכה להיות be... ערבייה yeah, ישראלית yeah, yeah. בשביל להרגיש את ההרגשה so שלהם. Just a moment. Today I said to Heidi, I said to her, Heidi, we should um, be more careful when we sit down in the Okay, what we'd like to do is to ask each person to say a few words as to why they made the choice they made. Um, for me, uh, my country, Austria, is not so important. Well, I like the country, but it wouldn't be a problem if I lived somewhere else. And um, I'm a Christian, but I'm not really convinced by the church. I just, I would prefer if I, if I wouldn't have any religion. And later on, I could choose my own country. Well, it's like I feel that something that forced me to do. 
I didn't choose it, so why should it be my identity? بحب انه يبكي عندي دوري فلسطينية عشان انا فلسطينية عربية صح على الرغم عني انه صار يعني صرت اسرائيلية بس لو بدي بقدر اني اعيش مثلا بكرة فلسطينية يا شي سيد it's very important for her to to have a state Palestinian state It's the first time that I enter uh, uh, the church. We are Muslims. We defend uh, ourselves uh, Muslims because our uh, my grandfather and my grandfather are Muslims. Grand, grand, <laughs> Muslims. لا لا اللي موت مش بالاسلام الاسلام زي كل دين انه بحرمش بحرمش بحرم العنف بس انه عايشين بفلسطين احنا ولا واجب علينا انه ندافع عن ارضنا وهو مش انه هو مش احنا مش ارهابي ولا شيء انه بس انه العالم بيشوفوا انه ارهابي انه يعني احنا احنا بدنا ندافع عن ارضنا ونعمل احزاب نعمل احزاب ومسمين اسماء جهاد الجهاد حماس انه عشان ندافع عن ارضنا وي ماست فورجيف ذا اذر اف هي ميك ا ميستيك اند That's the way we can uh, solve the problem. Not in fight, not in uh, terrorism. That's what I think as a Christian. What I gave you, all the people who are doing terror in the name of Islam, Islam is all the kind of kadosh that is not only a kind of kind of kind. الإسلام نجد رتسخات أنشيم خفيم مبشع. الإسلام كل كاخ طوف وكل كاخ سفلني وسفلني عم أنشيم شو هو كل كاخ رخوك من عائلة بشمة إسلام عصيم كل منا بيجوعين بكل مكان بعالم. And we have the flags of each. One of the nations that are here. Can you show which flags on which? This is the Palestinian, this is the Austrian, and this is the Israeli. And in the middle there's the peace. How do you call this? Uh, I would um, devote all my powers to to um, to co-living. Can you say co-living? Not living together. Not not Arabs, uh, Palestinian state, and Israeli state all together. One 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 country. That's what I would try to do. And that's the goal. The, <laughs> that's the ultimate goal. <laughs> I'm not planning really to go to the army. I wanna, I wanna open my, um, my bakery. I wanna open my bakery, but I don't support war, so I don't really wanna be a part of it. Um, maybe, maybe I'll change. You know, maybe I'll grow up, and, and my, uh, my opinions will change. But that's what I think right now.
Aztán aztán mi aludka. Elfér. Where are you from? I learned so. Where are you going now? To see a movie. And after that? To the house. This is my friend. We studied together. He's he's an Arab and it's a love. Love. Come to back. Come. Good morning, good morning, sabach al khair, boker tov. My name is Joseph, ich heiße Josef, ismi Yusuf, shmi Yosef, Yossi. Aber Entschuldigung, das erklärt, warum die arabischen Kinder nicht sprechen hier, weil die Lehrer ihnen nicht erlauben, offen zu sprechen. Und wenn er den, seinen Kindern nicht erlaubt, darüber zu sprechen, dann braucht ihr nachher nicht zu sagen, sie sprechen nicht, weil sie nicht gut Englisch yeah. können. It's not like us, we can say everything. But the Arabs in Israel are being shut down. It's very difficult for them to express their own opinions because uh, the Shabak, the Shabak, uh, the Shabak, the Secret Service, Secret Service. Service is always watching them for what they say, what they teach in their classes. I don't know, I just feel a lot of pain. I think this is why I do these things, as a matter of fact, because it hurts me, the situation. And when I look at the young people, those young people, and I think what they are going through, how their lives are, I feel very sad. Also uh, on the adults, living in Israel is very difficult for all of us. Even though the children look very happy and very the reality is very difficult. Die, die zwei Mannschaften haben beschlossen, statt dass sie in Streitigkeit miteinander geraten, werden sie miteinander äh, Fußball spielen. Und die arabischen Israelis äh, sind im Fußball immer besser als die jüdischen. Und äh, diese Streitigkeiten werden dann rasch vergessen. Never forget Austria. Austria, never forget 
We made amazing connections. Um, all the kids just made amazing connections with everyone. And it was really hard to say goodbye in the airport. Um, some people didn't cry, but they were really sad, including me. I, I was very sad to go. Um, it was definitely really hard um, to be in Israel afterwards. All my minds were in Austria all the time. In the last four years, due to the terror events in Jerusalem, I've been working a lot of my time in terror trauma and children and seeing young victims of terror. And I chose to talk about Yair, who was 11 when they turned to me, because Yair is a boy with a lot of strength. And I think the story, even though it's not a simple one, what he experienced, you can see how he was po how it was possible for him to get out of the trauma and to go back to functioning for him, for the whole family. And actually, for me, it's an optimistic story. So, Yair is a Jewish boy who lives in a village in Israel. He's a very sweet boy with big eyes and kind of a bit uh, dancing on the chair. But the story wasn't a simple one. It was a Saturday night and their house has two levels. And the father and mother and the two girls were in the uh, ground level. And Yair was sitting upstairs where the children's bedrooms are and he was watching uh, the football game. He likes football. And then they heard a bomb and, uh, and, uh, and shots. And um, the father immediately ran up the stairs and he grabbed Yair and together he took him to the utility kind of terrace and they were lying there on the floor. And then they started hearing outside the noise which they weren't sure which is the terrorist and which is the police and the army because things were going on for close to two hours. And then at a certain time, the police knocked on the door and said that they're coming in, that they're the police. Of course, they spoke Hebrew. And that was, as far as they're concerned, the end of the event. But within a week or two, there was another event in a close by village. And then he started being extremely nervous. He would jump from every little noise. He would not go up to the second floor under any circumstances. He just wanted to sleep with his parents in their bed. And even that was difficult. He needed them to be present when he sleeps with them in the bed. And this is interesting. The checkpoint is on the other side, Khalil. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he will come on this side. Hi. Here's my visa and my passport. Sometimes they say that the only thing they want to do is to explode themselves in a bomb. And uh, it's really difficult to convince children that this is not a solution. And luckily, in, in this part of the world, a lot of people are, are faithful and they pray and they believe in God. So that often when I just remind them that uh, being depressed and suicidal, is not uh, God is not going to be fooled by this. He will know the difference between somebody who's depressed and suicidal and somebody who's uh, really fighting for his country and for his cause. And often these kids, not often, always these kids give up these notions and they say they want to learn and they want to study and they want to play and, and they, they get back into their lifestyle, the normal lifestyle for a child.
Kok tabu sama bu sih? Ah. Gitu. <laughs> أول إشي أول أول الانتفاضة أمي أخذتنا على الدوحة حينها بعرف شجاعة إيش أخذتكم على الدوحة؟ بعرف شجاعة إحساس إنه في إشي راح يصير في المخيم فأخذتنا على دار سيدي ونمنا هناك مضلش غير أبوي وأخوي عمر في البيت فبعد أكم من يوم اتصل عم إبراهيم وصار يحكي إن أخوي عمر تصاب فأمي يعني بتعرف كيف الأم لما تعرف إن ابنها تصاب بصراحة بس الأم والأخ ما تضيقش يعني فعلت كان بدها تنزل على طول وكان دبابات موجودات يعني في على الشوارع هون فمنعناها و فصارت طوشة بيني وبين دار سيدي خلص بدها تنزل حينها فأجي إخوالي مسكوني وربطوني في البيت ما رضوش توش إنه تطلع أنت عند أخوك فكيت حل وش ردت ف بعد رفعوا عودوا التجول فأمي راحت بدها تروح على مستشفى فحكيت بدها تجمع حاجة قالت لا أو جيش بصير شو قلت لها بدها تجمع حاجة طلعنا رحنا على المستشفى شفنا كان الحمد لله كويس بس إيده كانت خلاص يعني إن ضربوه بالطيارة الرصاص فروح في اليوم اللي بعديه بعد ما رحت عليه احنا فروحنا على البيت اخوك؟ اه اه من المستشفى على البيت اه بعديها ظلوا يسووا له عمليات اربع عمليات اجراها ما فيش فايده بعديها باشهر اجوا اخذوه من البيت تفتيشات وتكسير هيك شغلات وضرب وكنتوا انتوا في البيت كلكم انت والماما والبابا كلنا فهو كان يدرس في الهاض فنصيت على صوت صريخ وضرب حجار انا فكرت طوشة طلعت فانا شفت عمار حامل الكتاب وعمره بنزل قلت بصر شو فيه تاني نروح نشوف فكنت انا وياه اول اثنين بينزلوا كان الباك لسه في البيت فاول ما نزل اخوي عمار مسكوه ربطوا على عينيه وربطوا ايديه وراح مسكوا من ركبته هيك ونزلوا على الارض تعالى نرسم ونرسم ونرسم بالالوان وطنا اخضر او بستان نرسم سمكا تحت الماء نرسم عشا نرسم ثمرا ان شاء الله من دون مكلمه بالسماء شي ستوري اباوت ليتس جو اند درو اند درو ا كونتري وذ جرينري اند ا فيري اوبتيمستيك هوبفول سونج فانت بتحس انه بقدر تكون تتعاطف مع شخص حتى لو انه يهودي حتى لو انه اسرائيلي Mm-hmm. He feels that he could develop a friendship or to care and feel compassion for Jewish people and Israelis. And uh, he has had this experience where he developed a friendship with a soldier who used to come around and he used to just chit-chat with him. And mm-hmm. when Ahmad's family was concerned about him and asked him not to go there, the soldier came looking for Ahmad just to say hello. And he thought that there is a bond that could develop لكن ما اللي بيحاول يأذي شخص أو كائن حي أبدا. but he cannot feel friendship. وإيش استفدنا بعدين؟ <تصفيق> وإيش استفدنا بعدين؟ but he cannot find friendship or compassion with anybody who wants to cause harm. and he says he even wants to cause harm to somebody who wants to harm somebody else. and I said what did we gain at the end? and he felt a little uncomfortable. and looked at his dad. But it's a natural reaction. This is a natural reaction. This is a natural reaction. I know what I'm saying. 
لما الواحد بيشوف حدا بده يدور حدا ثاني بصير بده يطبشه والله رد فعل يعني رد فعل طبيعي في فعل في رد فعل مضبوط بدي احكي عباره انه ما فيش سلام بدام في عرب بيبيعوا نفسهم ب 2000 و1000 شيكل ل لشارون و وجنوده يعني كيف بيبيعوا نفسهم؟ هو بيحكي عن العملاء اه يعني مش عارف هيك مش راح يصير سلام لانه فعلا في اذى كثير في الدنيا اذا بدنا تمنا نفكر فيه من هد بالاخر ما بنقدرش بس نركز على الاذى بدنا نركز على الاشياء الايجابيه كمان ونشوفها الدنيا في جزء ملان وجزء فاضي اذا بدنا نشوف الجزء الفاضي بنتفر بعدين وبنيأس بدنا نطلع على الاشياء الايجابيه الموجوده في حياتنا في حي في مجتمعنا وفي بلدنا بالرغم من اغلاط شعبنا وشعبهم وشعب كل الدنيا مضبوط ولا لا؟ At the end of our visit with Ahmad, he said, I have to go study. And I'm, for me, this is the biggest gift from a boy who was so disoriented and confused. And now he wants to study and continue, continue his education and see. Violence doesn't help anybody. I don't know what that was, but it scares me. And I'm glad it scares me. And I hope it never, never stops scaring me. I hope the world will realize that violence doesn't breed but violence and that uh, we all have to work to try to find non-violent ways to, to build peace and to treat people as human beings everywhere. And if we do, then nobody can harm anybody. We are going to meet Yair and his family. And Yair used to live in Mushava Ezer where the attack took place, but now they moved to another Moshav, which is a village close by. Um, I think the terrorists that um, I have done that, that attack on my house and on my uh, uh, Moshav were very frightened when they did uh, that thing, that terrorist attack. And uh, because of that, because of the, they were frightened, they didn't did their uh, job good enough. You know that we are talking about children who are suffering from the אבל הדרך שבה הם בחרו למות או לבצע את מה שהם עשו לא הייתה טובה. כי להרוג אנשים אחרים או לנסות להרוג אנשים אחרים בשביל מטרה שהיא לא, שהיא לא, שהיא, שהיא לא טובה, זה לדעתי לא, לא נחוץ ולא רצוי, לא טוב. אני לא שומעת הרבה כעס במה כן. שאתה אומר. יש כעס, אבל... יש כעס אולי לאנשים שב... ש... שעשו, שגייסו אותם, כי הם אלה שבעצם... גרמו להם לעשות את המעשה הזה והם ניצלו את החולשות של האנשים האחרים. אני לא בטוח שזה היה ככה במקרה הזה, אני רק ש... יודע שבאסלאם הכבוד הוא דבר מאוד חשוב ושהרבה אנשים הולכים להתאבד בגלל הכבוד של המשפחה ושה... ושאלה שמגייסים אותם יש להם דרך חשיבה של איך לנצל את החולשות של הבן אדם בשביל ליצור דברים שבשבילם, בשביל הצרכים שלהם. אז זה עורר בך איזה רצון לנקום? כאילו איזה רצון... להרוג בחזרה? לנקום לא, כי אז בדיוק מה שאני לא רוצה שיעשו לי, אני אעשה להם. זה לא... זה קצת... זה לא...
I think the, the, the upsetting part is I think both parties are totally blind to their violence. You have two parties that totally see themselves as victims. If I would not believe that there's a real chance of having a good life together, of us waking up and you waking up, I mean, I couldn't take it. And these kids who can get desensitized, enjoy the shooting in the jeep and say, I'm not afraid, when they grow up, who will they try to terrorize or scare yeah, yeah. without it's, feeling it? Whether it's in, the home, in their own homes mm. or whether it's outside. You know, and it's, or themselves. Yeah, or themselves, yeah. yeah. And to help them, they can never fully put it behind, you know that. But to help them find enough strength to enjoy to go back to enjoy life mm. is yeah. playing. Yeah, playing. Uh, the parents and Han were driving their own family car from Jerusalem to their home in Kfarimunim when suddenly uh, a stone was thrown upon their car. Of course, the glass was all thrown uh, around and the mother was uh, hit very badly in her face and lost a lot of blood and she f uh, lost also her consciousness, so she didn't remember what's going on. And in the first moment, the father even didn't recognize that the, his wife is so wounded and Han, the kid, began... Uh, yelling, uh, mother is wounded, and she said she was sure she was going to die. He said, mommy, don't die, stay uh, with us. And when the father recognized what's going on, he rushed to a um, nearby uh, a camp, a military camp or something, and then they called an ambulance. They left uh, the kid there and rushed to hospital. <laughs> She was so afraid, she fe felt after a couple of days, mother returned home and she felt she has to take care of her. So she went to bed with her mom every night. She closed all the windows at home. She locked the door. She didn't let anybody, uh, she was very, she didn't stay alone. And before she was an independent child, very happy. And at the beginning, she saw the pictures of what happened coming again and again. Her mother full of blood and her face bleeding and she's terrified that she's going to die. They live in a settlement and she knows has to go to school every day to Jerusalem and she was very afraid to go by car. She wanted only she was she insisted on going on a in a shielded car. נגיד חברות לפעמים כאילו אמרת שאני מתי שאני מפחדת, הן מלוות אותי ודברים כאלה וגם המחנות וזה עוזר לי כאילו אני לא מדברת הרבה על הפיגוע, אני מדברת על הפיגוע רק עם הילדות שקרה להם את זה. את לא מדברת עם ילדות שלא קרה להם? אני לא מדברת עם חברות שלי על זה בכלל. והן יודעות שהיית? כן, הן יודעות אבל אני לא... הן לא יודעות מה קרה. למה בעצם? כן, אני לא מרגישה בנוח לדבר איתן. מה זה כאילו, את מתביישת? לא, אני לא מתביישת, פשוט, כאילו, הם לא יכלו להבין אותי, ויגיד, אם אני אפחד בחודש שלכם, הם יצחקו עליי, הם לא יבינו אותי. אלה שקרה להם דברים, אז הם כן יבינו אותי, הם כן יהיו איתי, הם כן... אבל נגיד חברות מהיישוב כן מלוות אותך, אני מבקשת שילוו אותך. כן, אני לא יודעת איך הייתי דרך, אבל כאילו, חצי דרך אני כבר הולכת לבעל, ולפעמים ככה.
כל הזמן יש לי טרור ו... כאילו... בכל העולם יש את הטרור הזה, וכל הערבים רוצים להשיג משהו, אבל זה לא ברור מה הם מנסים להשיג. אז לא, אני לא חושבת שיהיה פה שלום מקרוב, אבל אולי שיעשו הסכמים, אולי. מה יהיה לערבים ומה יהיה ליהודים, אבל שמעתי על זה שרוצים לחצות את המדינה שלנו, ואני לא מסכימה עם זה בכלל. כי זה המדינה שקיבלנו מאלוהים, וזה שלנו, אין מה לעשות. וזהו. אני מרגישה אולי שהם גם סובלים, כי אין להם אבא או אימא, אבל ברוך השם יש לי גם אבא וגם אימא ואת כל האחים שלי. ואני אולי מרחמת עליהם קצת, כי הם ילדים אולי בגלל הטרור והדברים וה... כל ה... אולי אני מרחמת עליהם קצת, אבל כאילו... אחרי זה, אם הם גדלו מי יודע מה, אולי הם יהיו מחבלים. אז כאילו... הם בטח יגידו בסרט הזה שהם לא אכפת להם ממנו, ו... והם לא חושבים לך שנאמרו ודברים כאלה. זה מה שאני חושבת שהם יגידו, אבל... לפי דעתי שאם האינתיפה הזאת תמשיך להרבה זמן, שהם שמעו ללמוד, או שהם מבוגרים, או ההורים שלהם, או משהו כזה, הם יהיו מחבלים לפי דעתי. This picture for the brother of mm. uh, Tar, his name is uh, Hamis. He drew this uh, picture just uh, today. And this picture is after two years of uh, trauma. He drew there uh, the Apache, the Israeli Apache, two Apache and two tanks. And here the Israeli uh, t- troops. Mm? And here the Palestinian uh, straggler. The Palestinian straggler, uh, they uh, take guns and they shoot for the Apache here. And he said that the Palestinian straggler, they are more uh, strong than the Israelis. When I asked him that, but Israelis have more technical, more technological guns and helicopters, he said, no, but because we have the right, uh, God with us. Uh, I want to remind you that in 2002, uh, especially in the 22nd of July, at midnight, at 12 uh, midnight, uh, there was shelling by uh, F-16 airplane, Israeli airplanes. Uh, they assassinated uh, one activist um, of Hamas, his, uh, his name is Salah Ishhad. And at that night, uh, 18 persons Uh, were killed and six among them they were children and uh, one of the child uh, they were um, taking the taking him fr- uh, from under the ruins of the building um, and this child his name is Tare Tare he uh, his mother and two of his brothers uh, were killed uh, at this uh, event بالنسبة لطارق طبعا بشكي من أعراض اللي هي تذكر مقحم للحدث الصادم انتروسيف ثوت بتكلى بعاني من اشي تاني طبعا اللي هو عدم القدرة على الدخول في النوم ومن مشاكل تاني طبعا غير عدم القدرة على الدخول في النوم اللي هي كوابيس بتتعلق بالحدث الصادم اللي هو مر فيه اللي هي نايت ميرز اشي تاني اللي هو فلاش باك غير شيء كثير من ناحيه المستقبل مم. في الصف مم. يعني بقعد امر بسرح نعم مره هيك بعدين قاعد بفكر مم. يعني بالمره 
كيف بالمرة يعني؟ خلص هيك الحياة صارت مش فارقة. اها. مش فارقة. نعم. طيب نرجع لل قلت المستقبل. امم. يعني كيف بتنظر أنت للمستقبل؟ عادي. كيف ما يجي يجي. يعني مش عامل مثلا خطة أو هدف إلك لمستقبلك؟ ما فيش إشي زي هيك. لما واحد يجيب لي سيرة يعني في المدرسة هو في وين ما كان أولى ساتي أقول له خلاص ما تجيب ليش سيرة يعني, يعني خلاص يعني ما تأذي ما أحبش بفهم من كلامك أنه أنت بتحبش تدمع تحبش تتذكرها طب ليش؟ إيش السبب طارق؟ عشان أمي وأخواتي خلاص ما أحبش يعني تنا تذكرها إيش ماشي إيش بكون شعورك؟ طب الحين إحنا قاعدين بنحكي عن هذا الموضوع إيش شعورك بكون؟ ايش حاسس هالقيت؟ خلص هيك احساس عندي زي اللي بدي اعيط زي هيك. اها له ما تجيب سيره هذا خلص. يعني اديك آه. اديك مشاعر حزن يعني تشعر بالحزن. اه امر اولاد بالصف بس اه بقول له خلص ما تجيب ليش سيره هذا. اه او الاستاذ امراه. اها نعم. قول له خلص ما تجيب ليش سيره. ماشي يا طارق. There is a good relationship between uh, between me and uh, the Jewish and the Austrian. Um, we have uh, we talking uh, in the night, in the middle of the night. We we joking. We we are uh, playing and singing. I get uh, a good relationship with them. <laughs> I think that there's some some Palestinian that does want uh, the peace, but they still uh, use the terror uh, system. So I don't really think so. It's 
it's the way to the peace. Uh, I think Israel should evacuate the illegal settlements and give the Palestinians their lands. Um, yeah, and like I say, divide Jerusalem. I think the Israeli side should just get out of the army. Everybody just come back to the eastern side. Go out of the West Bank. Let them have their own, their own state. When we listen to others, we just uh, listen to the opinion of any one of, of uh, anybody of them. So uh, we learn many things. Uh, I feel that something uh, uh, changed in my life. No. Yeah.